Big plans are taking way at the National Aviary in Pittsburgh to create a must-see destination for our region. The $23 million project will include a new flight zone theater that will stage free flight indoor bird shows and a rooftop theater that will permit birds of prey to show their stuff. In the meantime, the aviary has broken ground on a new penguin exhibit as well. Linda Dickerson is president and CEO of the National Aviary, and Paul Rosenblatt is principal with Springboard Design. Welcome. Good to see both of you. Thank you. Nice great to be here. Yeah, these are exciting times at the old National Aviary, Linda. These are great times at the National Aviary, but then any time at the National Aviary is a great time. Well, we should <laughs> say you've had great success in the past couple of years with the outdoor bird shows in the summertime have really, uh, you know, added a lot of vitality and pizzazz. Indeed. In fact, last year we broke uh, our record in attendance, and uh, that was largely attributable to the increased uh, attendance at the summer bird show okay and so then these new exhibits take this i would think to a, a whole new level for what people are used to seeing at exactly the we are predicting about a 14 percent increase in our uh, paid attendance next year what just from the penguins just from the penguins but how can you say just <laughs> when you're associated with penguins? Everybody loves a penguin. And in Pittsburgh, penguins are extra special. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you think about the appropriate exhibit, especially right now while the team is so hot. It's really terrific. Uh, uh, and, and, Paul, you're obviously working on the designs for all these new facilities. How, how are they, 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 they going to be different? What's going to make them really special? Well, I think the first thing that makes the aviary special is that, is that it's an indoor zoo. So you can um, visit the aviary for 12 months a year. Right now, the facilities don't do justice to the collection. Hmm. And I think there's been a lot of attention in the past on the birds and the collections, and less so on the visitor experience. So we're trying to make a really special building that, is, that looks and feels like a bird building. Um, the new entrance will have a facade that features wings that are, I've, de I've described them as diaphanous metal wings that will glow. And um, that description alone should draw people. Yeah, yeah, I, I want to see that already. <laughs> yeah, just just from you talking about it. Yeah. And the penguin thing is 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 indoor outdoor in it's some way. It's indoor outdoor. It's going to be a unique experience. You'll be able to um, share airspace with the penguins as well as inhabit a space inside, and pop up and sort of look around at the level of the penguins. Oh which is wow! Be exciting too. Well, kids seem to love that kind of thing, especially yeah. go in and crawl in and really see the penguins the penguins eye view. The, uh, the National Aviary is all about creating up close and personal experiences with nature. Our mission is to inspire respect for nature through birds. And so birds are the tools that we use to engage people, young people and, and adults with their natural environment. Well, and it's unusual too. I mean, what, one, one of the biggest, what, freestanding bird zoos anywhere, is it? Well, there are two freestanding bird zoos. That in this country, and we're one of the two. We are the only year-round facility. And then there are a variety of very strong avian collections in uh, more typical zoos. Most of the major metros have at least some bird presence. But we are the National Aviary as designated by Congress in 1993. Yeah, which is really cool to have it here in Pittsburgh. Tell me about the Flight Zone Theater. This is sort of the next thing, right, that's on its way after the penguins are in place. Yeah, you'll, you'll be able to uh, see f birds flying around inside above your heads and, and interact with you and with trainers in an interior theater, and it should be really dramatic. So similar to what you've been doing with the shows in the summertime, but this thing you can then run year-round? Well, it it is similar in that it's a bird show, but the way I like to describe our theater, our planned theater, is it's a reversed theater in the round. So the audience sits where you would typically anticipate the staging to be. And then the stages are around the perimeter of the room. So the birds will actually fly over the audience. And we use uh, technology, special effects, cinematography to, in essence, take people around the world to visit the natural habitats where the birds who are performing in the show would uh, typically be found. And wow. so audiences will get to see birds in their natural environments performing natural behaviors that typically you'd only be able to see in the most remote sections of the globe. And so we, we're taking people around the world and we describe the experience that we're going to create is the next best thing 
to actually being there. <laughs> it, has to, it has to be fun to get to work on a project like this. Most of my clients are human, so this is a, <laughs> this is a first. Well, it's exciting. Great to see the Penguins opening next year, right? We plan to open around Memorial Day, so plan a family uh, summer visit to the National Aviary. As you say, it's always a perfect time for Penguins. Linda Dickerson <laughs> from the National Aviary, Paul Rosenblatt from Springboard Design. Thank you both so much. Thank, Thank you. you, Bill. We appreciate the invitation. And we'll be back in a minute with a little dollars and cents. Stay with us.